All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's ResNexus webinar. This one is Spruce Up Your Inventory with Our Home Plug and Play Glamping Units. And I'm joined today by Lacey Norton, leader of commercial operations for Our Home and Arcana. She'll speak for a while, and then afterwards, we'll have time for a Q&A. So go ahead and get your questions ready for the end, and then we'll go ahead and get those answered for you. Thanks so much for coming on and doing this, Lacey. We're really excited about these Our Homes, and we're excited to learn more about it. So thank you. Well, thanks so much for having us. We're really excited to to be here. Um, I'll also share with everyone joining me today is Jeremy Hill, who is also uh, a co-founder co of Our Home and Arcana, um, who will be here during the Q&A period to answer any questions that, that anyone may have. Um, so thank you everyone for your time. We're really excited to share our home with you today. Um, just a brief overview of um, what we'll be reviewing. Um, we're going to introduce you to our home um, and do a, a brief review of the our home units, um, some of the specifications, how they've been designed. Uh, we'll chat a bit about the historical financial performance that we've seen uh, for our home units, as well as touch on the certification and permitting process, uh, what you can expect from a delivery and installation point of view, what pricing looks like, and then we'll open it up to any Q&A that any of you may have. Um, so our home. Our home is the Infinite Arcana experience. Our home was launched at the beginning of this year. Uh, we're a sister brand to the experiential hospitality brand Arcana uh, that is based in Ontario, Canada. Uh, we are a plug and play guest dwelling unit that is purpose built specifically for hospitality. Uh, some of the key differentiators of our product from many others that are in market at the moment is, you know, we offer flat fee pricing with no surprises. Uh, once you receive your quotes from us, you get a really clear view um, of the cost of the units and everything that is um, situated inside. We are park model and RV certified, which really allows for us to accommodate um, many sort of gray zone permitting um, challenges that, that certain people face when converting um, to more permanent structured units on their property. It also makes our units you know, quite compelling for those that are already permitted um, as RV sites. Our units will arrive fully constructed, so there's no construction on site, which makes for really easy installation. They can be delivered as soon as eight to 12 weeks, uh, depending on the level of customizations that one may choose. And, you know, once units arrive, they can, they can be set up within six to eight hours and essentially generating revenue for you um, right away. So our, our units tend to be, you know, really well received for those that are either looking to expand the number of keys on a pre-existing uh, property, as well as they're very efficient units for, for those that are looking to do new builds. Uh, from a unit overview perspective, as I mentioned, our home is plug and play. Um, our prices start at 125K and units are fully constructed in factory uh, in North America and are designed to withstand all four seasons. So year round use is, is a key benefit. Um, you know, we have built these units to withstand the coldest of winters and the warmest of summers, hence the installation of, you know, a split AC unit. Uh, we have cross breeze windows situated in the units themselves. Um, and they've been operated, you know, as I mentioned, uh, at our Kana properties, which have, you know, sub 20 below Celsius temperatures and very warm summers. Um, so we've seen the units withstand, you know, the, the weather that um, we want them to withstand. They have been designed to be operationally efficient. So the model that uh, we are currently offering has is actually the third version um, model. Uh, we've tested these units on our on our Arcana property over the past three years and have made enhancements and changes to ensure that the units are designed to be operationally efficient. Uh, specifically in the cleaning and servicing of the units themselves, 
we know labor hours are, are a key consideration and the units have been designed to ensure that they can be cleaned very quickly and serviced very easily. Hence, you know, we've added things like the mechanical closet um, on the outside of the unit itself. So should servicing need to be done to the unit itself, there's minimal disruption to any guests that are, that are in the unit at the time. We have also focused on dur durable hospitality grade finishes. Um, you know, as I mentioned, because we've, we've operated and have seen these units in use, uh, we know how we want them to resist the test of time as well as multiple stays on a regular basis. So we've been very selective in the types of finishes that we've chosen to ensure um, that they are durable and, and can withstand the test of time and, and high use. Uh, and then last but not least, you know, our units have proven performance. The deployment of our units in hospitality settings, we've seen on average generate 400 to 450 ADR um, and 60% plus occupancy. This is um, our floor plan for our intro model itself here. Uh, it's a 300 square foot unit. Um, as you can see, it has an entry vestibule here. Not sure if you can see my arrow, so I'll just quickly walk us through. It has the exterior mechanical closet. Uh, within this unit uh, is a washroom that includes a, a, a toilet closet, a sink, and a rainfall shower all finished with Fenex finishes, which is a highly antimicrobial finish countertop. Um, we have a built-in closet system as you enter to your left for guests to place all of their items prior to walking into the main area of the unit. Um, and units also include kitchenette, table, chairs, and a queen bed, um, as well as the, the large beautiful picture window as you can see uh, behind me here. Uh, the units themselves, this unit specifically, is 300 square feet. Um, and as mentioned before, it comes um, fully assembled, ready for use uh, when they arrive on site. We do also offer um, a few other floor plans, which we can, we can share with you and speak to. We have a two-bedroom unit, a two-bedroom unit with a bunk. Um, so offering, you know, more space for families. Uh, and we also have a small off-grid unit available for those uh, that might be looking at placing the units in a more rural type setting. Uh, the exterior. Uh, so similar, uh, we offer customizations on the interior. We also offer customizations on the exterior of the units. Uh, these three cladding options here are, are sort of intro introductory cladding options. Um, to the left here, you'll see we have a court and steel. In the middle, we have a black and cedar. And on the right, we have a natural cedar. Um, these are the finishes that we've selected. They, they are suitable in a variety of different settings. A court and steel is really beautiful in large meadows or in desert type landscapes. The black and cedar is very beautiful in, you know, more Pacific Northwest wooded areas. And the natural cedar um, is just a highly versatile finish that can be placed in a variety of different settings. That being said, should there be, you know, customizations on the exterior, um, those are available to you as well. Um, Speaking to the financial performance of the units, um, what I've shared here is a brief case study of the our home units being operated by Arcana, so operated by our experiential um, hospitality brand. Uh, we operated um, a microsite with two of these cabins in the very intro phases of Arcana. Uh, for two years. And, you know, the results that we saw demonstrated were we had an average occupancy of 82%. We were achieving an ADR of $445 a night um, and generating, you know, approximately $132,000 in revenue per unit. Um, these numbers equate to, you know, like a two to three year payback unit, uh, two to three year payback on the units themselves. Um, in the presentation here, there, there is a QR code. We do have an investment calculator as we know 
rates and occupancy and all of that varies um, based on location and a variety of factors. Uh, but we do encourage you to take a look at the investment calculator to plug in your own numbers based on either what you're currently seeing on property or what your comp sets are within your local area to get a sense of, you know, what the return might be for yourself um, for an R home unit on one of your properties. We've also uh, shared an illustrative, you know, business plan and valuation here. This is all hypothetical um, based on what we've seen thus far from some of our clients, but Clearwater RV site, uh, this is not a real RV site, but, you know, for the purposes of this, of this illustration, you know, it's a 35 acre property with 50 RV sites uh, and a land value of 600 K, you know, should, um, the owner of the site be interested in converting two of their seasonal RV sites to uh, our home short-term rentals. You know, we're assuming an ADR, a conservative ADR of $350 a night with an occupancy of 50%. Right off the bat, what we're seeing here is that units are generating, you know, based on the ADR and occupancy rates here, approximately $64,000 of rental income compared to um, what they were historically doing, you know, 2K per RV site. Um, and we've assumed that the R home units are, you know, 33% operating expenses of the revenue. Um, and as a result, you know, the conversion project is adding approximately 43K per R home unit um, in the NOI for the property. So, you know, where you land is you have a new NOI that's at 86,000. Um, but if we're also to look at, you know, how does this increase the overall value of the land and the property itself, you know, complying a conservative cap rate of 10% to the property, which is, you know, quite standard to a campground of this size, you know, we're, we're, we can demonstrate the outsized potential value of the R home units um, on the overall property as a whole. Um, as I spoke to um, when we were reviewing the unit specifications themselves or the unit overview, uh, we do offer a lot of flexibility and customization uh, for our clients. Uh, we know that every property is different, every business is different. So we tailor our modifications both from an aesthetic perspective as well as you know, reconfiguring the layout of the interior. Uh, what we want is we want to ensure that you have seamless integration of our home units, either onto a pre-existing property or a new property that you're developing. And the customization process essentially works um, through consultation. We sit down with our clients and have collaborative consultation meetings um, to ensure that we, we understand what their needs are and are able to provide them with customization recommendations uh, per unit to meet, to meet their needs. Certification and permitting. So as I mentioned uh, at the outset, uh, these units can be park model RV certified, offering a lot of flexibility in permitting and compliance. Uh, we do work with a company called Intertech, uh, which is an internationally recognized company to certify each of our factory built our home units. We, we do caution regulations vary. Um, quite frequently. So, you know, it is always important to work with your local planning office to get a clear understanding of the necessary permits should you need to acquire them for the units. Uh, that being said, our team here is to support along the way and assist through this process um, should services be required as, you know, we place these units previously and, and are happy to help however we can uh, to ensure a smooth process, um, however. Delivery and installation. So, you know, our home uh, plug and play, which is is nice. It means, you know, no build on, on site for you um, and allows for us to adapt our units to a variety of landscapes, um, whether it be rural, urban, um, you know, there, there offers a lot of flexibility in a unit being um, plug and play. It also accelerates a lot of development timelines, um, which is something that we see a lot of our clients coming to us for, you know, the plug and play 
uh, opportunity is the property can be developed and units can be delivered as soon as the property is ready for the units to be placed. Um, we do support in, in arranging the direct delivery to your property. Um, as I mentioned, ensuring minimal impact on your surroundings. Flexible foundations are available for the units. So the units do arrive on a trailer. They can remain on the trailer should there be any um, sort of desire to move the units of future state. But they all can, also can be placed on sono tubes, helical piles, and concrete slabs. Um, there's a variety of considerations that one may have in determining what is the appropriate foundation uh, for the units themselves, um, such as building codes, soil conditions, and grade constraints. But as this is an area that we're also very happy uh, to assist our clients in determining, you know, what would be the best foundation, most suitable foundation based on what you're trying to accomplish with your unit. Pricing. So as I mentioned, pricings, prices start from 125 um, flat fee pricing. Uh, we aim to be transparent in our pricing with no surprises. All hard costs for the units are included in the unit itself. Uh, we do want to ensure that we can support our clients with their targeted budgets that they're looking to achieve. Um, so through the customization process, we also work really closely with our clients to, you know, customize pricing to achieve, you know, the budgets that they're, they're looking for. Um, and then we also offer fully equipped our home. So while all, all hard costs are included, should you be interested in dishes and linens and bedding, um, that is an added offering that we have um, for those that are really looking for a fully turnkey unit to place on their property. Um, as I mentioned, our home is an extension of the Arcana Hospitality brand, but uh, I also wanted to ensure that everyone knew that there, we do have two really integral par partners to the Our Home product itself. Um, we really are a collaboration between um, Lucky Studio and Hummingbird Hill Homes. Uh, Lucky Studio is a renowned architect that's actually based in Vancouver, BC, um, and who is our chief architect and is the designer of the Our Home units. Hummingbird Hill Homes is a premium uh, home builder based out of Ontario, Canada, um, and they are actually, we, we utilize their factory um, to build our units and have the utmost trust and confidence uh, in these two partners supporting us and bringing the Our Home units to life. Um, so by combining the expertise of Arcana, which is very much rooted in hospitality, you know, we've partnered with best in class design and best in class construction to ensure that we are truly delivering um, one of the most optimum hospitality units in market today. Uh, we've received a tremendous amount of press. Um, as I mentioned, we launched at the beginning of this year. We've had a great response to the units thus far. Uh, we were really proud to be noticed as one of the 25 most innovative companies by Canadian business earlier this year, both for our home and Arcana. Um, and, you know, have just been thrilled to bring this product to market. And, and with that, um, you know, we would love to join with any ResNexus uh, hosts and clients um, for a complimentary consultation. You know, this is very much just an introductory to our home. There, there's a lot of, uh, a lot more information to, to be shared should the units be of interest to you. Um, so please feel free to click on the QR code to, to schedule a complimentary consultation with our team. Uh, you also have my email and Jeremy's email here as well. And, you know, we were very excited uh, to be sharing our home with you. And um, as a result, you know, we are offering free delivery up to $4,000 for all ResNexus hosts uh, who look to place an order um, for any our home units before the end of 2024. That is it. I will open it up uh, to Q&A, Gavin. Okay, excellent. Hey, thanks, hope, so, uh, thanks so much for that presentation. I thought you yeah. did a fantastic job. And, and uh, yeah, I learned a lot.
So uh, as we are going to dive into the Q&A, oh. um, I just wanted to quickly say that for anyone who enjoyed this webinar, you can also view other ResNexus webinars just by going to resnexus.com. And then under the education tab, you can view our entire webinar catalog and register for upcoming webinars and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, go ahead and put your questions in the Q&A and we'll get to them as fast as we can and in the order they appear. Uh, while we're waiting for some of those questions to come in, uh, I had a few questions of my own, if that's all right. Yeah, of course. Awesome. So I just wanted to start with, uh, I liked I liked all of the finish styles that you showed off. I was curious, what which one's your personal favorite for, for the finishes on the R homes? You know, I I quite like the court and steel one. I I envision having a court and steel one of my own in a wildflower field. That that is my vision for my our home unit. Oh, that sounds lovely. <laughs> uh, all right, my other question is, you know, kind of looking at this from from the perspective of our our uh, you know you know our clients, our our, our hosts out there, uh, when they're listing an our home online as one of their units. Uh, how would you kind of recommend that properties describe them uh, on their listings to potential guests to help them understand what it would be like to stay in an R home? Yeah, I mean, I would I would say that, you know, describing the units themselves is, you know, very much going to be aligned to the property in which they're situated. And so I would first off just describe the property. Um, but then I would go into describing the the full functionality of the units. You know, they're they are truly self-contained units. Uh, they have kitchens, bathrooms, a beautiful bed, and you know, I'd say the feature that is that is so iconic to the our home units themselves is the large picture window and being able to emphasize, you know, the landscape and the nature and the setting um, in which the our home unit is placed. Yeah, I think I agree with that. And also like the privacy element as well. You know, it seems like a very nice self-contained, like you said. That is, yes, absolutely. They, they've been designed for privacy and they've also been designed really um, for situating on properties in a, in a fashion that um, you're not looking at your neighbors. So that's why, you know, the windows are primarily located on the front of the unit. So you could have multiple units on a property. Um, but when you're situated, when your guests are situated in the property itself, it feels like no one else is around. That's fantastic. Uh, all right. Looks like we've got a few questions coming in. One of them is for me. Uh, someone asked, will this recording be available on ResNexus and when? Uh, I anticipate that the recording will be available by tomorrow, uh, whether it's on ResNexus.com or not. I'll send you, I'll send all the attendees uh, an email with a link where you can watch the recording uh, probably by tomorrow. Uh, we've got a question about our homes. Uh, can you provide any idea of what the cost upgrade to the steel exterior might look like at this time? Yes. Uh, Jared, do you want to take this one or do you want me to? Sure, I can take it. Okay, is great. Is it the, uh, the mirrored cladding they're asking about or is it the core 10? It does not specify, so maybe we can speak to both. Sure. So core 10, uh, we look at around, um, you know, you're looking at a, a cost per square foot. This is um, ACM panels. Um, so there's a few ways we look at it. One is depending on how many you, you order. Um, I, I can't necessarily give you exact figures, but the premium is roughly around ten to twenty thousand dollars above our base uh, install of of uh, the the cedar. Okay, uh, sounds good. Thank you. That one's been answered. Okay. Um, another question. Uh, it just says size of holding tanks? Question mark. Yeah. Okay. So. <clears throat> Holding tanks can vary uh, depending on how long you intend guests to stay for and how many guests you intend to have staying in the unit. If we're talking about a two bedroom unit, we had a 190 gallon holding tank. That lends well to a three night stay 
with a maximum of two showers per day per guest uh, for three nights. Uh, and obviously uh, um, with our washrooms, um, so the, the toilet itself is an incinerating toilet. So the, the holding tank is in fact a gray water tank. It is not a black water tank. And that gray water tank um, takes the water from your shower, your sinks, and holds that. Now, we also have a way to uh, set up a French drain. Some municipalities permit it, and a French drain is a way to discharge that affluent in a safe way so it does not Im impact the environment, but does not require a septic. And then, sorry, Gavin, I just saw that there was um, maybe a follow-up before we go to this next question, because the, the client that had asked about the holding tank um, was asking if, if the units needed to be attached to public water um, or sewer. And um, Jer, I'll, I'll hand it over yeah. to you. Maybe you can speak a bit to the, I, what I didn't mention was the off-grid unit as well. Right. So yeah, in <clears throat> for the off-grid unit, we have a gray water holding tank and a fresh water holding tank. They're both the same size and they both live underneath the bed. Um, and they can be accessed through some part compartments. The uh, fresh water can be loaded in to the fresh water tank either by um, a water wagon um, or um, if you wanted to, you could do a rainwater collection system. Mm, but we um, we're, we were using um, on an off grid we designed, we would fill it with a water uh, tank cart. Okay, All right, makes sense. Uh, and, our next, oh, I go think, ahead. Sorry, was there the other question was around septic? Um, so with the off grid, there's no septic. It's just it's um, incinerating toilet in a gray water tank. Um, you can have a pump out, so someone will come in and pump out that gray water and put it into an area where it's designated by a municipality. There's various different ways to discharge of that. I had suggested one being the French drain, which is my preferred method and easiest method. It pretty much eliminates the need for the gray water tank altogether. Um, but depending on the municipality, you could potentially may need to require it to be a certain distance from the unit. All right, good to know. Our next question is asking about furnishings. What comes with a unit in terms of furnishings and what would need to be provided by the property? Right. Um, so the furniture, the furniture that does come with the unit is the bed, the table, and the chairs which is essentially all of the furniture in the unit itself. And then all of the hard items are also included. So, you know, the, the kitchenette, um, everything that's in the washroom, um, any soft goods, as I mentioned, you know, we do have a package where we, we can supply the soft goods as well. But um, with our pricing, all of the hard units, all of the furniture is included in the price of the unit itself. That's fantastic. Yes, it, it's ready. To go. It's literally ready <laughs> to go. It, re it really is plug and play. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I might have missed it. Did you talk about the the free shipping deal going on? Uh, I believe I did, but happy to to share again. You know, um, for all Res Nexus hosts, uh, we're we're willing we're offering free shipping up to four thousand dollars on any orders that are placed before before the end of this year. Yeah, so that's a great call to action for you. And then also, uh, the QR code is on screen. I've also shared a link in the chat that you can go to to get in contact and get started. So, awesome. All right. Well, I'll keep. Oh, go ahead. Is that it for questions that we have? Uh, it looks like it so far. I'll keep it open for another okay. like fifteen seconds or so. If anyone can type really fast, like, oh, I've got a burning question. But while that's going on, I just wanted to say once again, thank you to Lacey and Jeremy from our home for coming on to put on this webinar for us. I really appreciate it. And it's a really exciting topic. And I'm eager to see some people start adopting this and and uh, see how it goes. Awesome, Gavin. Thank you so much for having us. We we really appreciate. Oh, uh, where do the, the units ship out of? 
Um, great question. Oh, 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 more. <laughs> they, they, they always come in. This is a wrap it up. They all, they all panic. They all start typing real fast. So. <laughs> okay, great. Um, units ship out of Ontario, Canada at the moment. Uh, we also do have some partners, partnerships, build partnerships being established in the U.S. just due to the um, interest and demand that we're starting to see south of the border. Um, so depending on where you are, yeah, they're, they're currently shipped out of Ontario, but, um, you know, further discussion there as well. Should, should you be interested? Uh, we've got a few more questions. Next one is asking, I think you had a slide about this. Maybe you can expound on it as what kind of occupancy results have you seen? Yeah, uh, in in our Arcana property, uh, we were seeing 82% plus occupancy for the two years in which we were operating. Um, you know, we've seen anywhere from, you know, 50 to 60% um, with, you know, our, our ADR was, was just north of 450 um, for our micro site that we were operating prior to going in to develop our, our scale site. Um, and we're seeing anywhere from, you know, 350 to, to 400, 450 um, for our units thus far. All right. And then our next question, uh, perhaps the last one, I believe they're asking about transportation, maybe. They're asking about height or width roadway restrictions. Gerald, I'll pass this one to you. Okay. Uh Thanks for the question there. So um, we have a variety of different units available. Eight and a half feet wide is the width that allows you to pull this on a standard truck uh, without permit. So we have a unit available for that. We also have units that are wider. The max width we do produce is 14 feet wide. And we provide um, with that, you require a follow car um, and a wide load permit. Uh, and so depending on where we're shipping, uh, you just have to map out your route in advance and submit that to obtain the permit. Uh, the height, max height you can ship is 14 feet high. And when we ship this on our uh, trailer, we're below uh, 13 and a half feet. Uh, when you put it on a flatbed, the actual cabin itself is 10 feet high. So, so long as your flatbed truck is less than four feet off the ground, then your clearance will be fine. And that allows you to get under most, most um, bridges. Although you do, we do, um, again, map it out, uh, determine if there's any old historical bridges that you may have to go through and uh, make sure we manage that in advance. All right. Fantastic. We're getting some thank yous in the Q and a, so yeah, thank you all for those questions. Uh, awesome. all and, right. and we're happy to connect, you know, with, with any one that's on the call, um, to have further discussion. We know there's, there's lots to cover and a lot of fine details to, to review. All right. Fantastic. I think with that, we're going to go ahead and call that a webinar. Uh, thank you once again. I hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your week. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Gavin and ResNexus team. We, we really appreciate it and uh, happy to stay in touch. All right. Have a good one. Okay. Bye. Take care.